What is up, my Fortnite friends? Johnny5 Alive here. Quick update on Fortnite. There's the light machine guns, and I want to show you the new one for Save the World PVE, which is here. The neon weapon Mercury light machine gun. I have just purchased this, and I want to show it to you guys in game. A quick overview of the update. It was a small update this week, but if you guys log in, you're going to receive um, some free goodies. So, here it says, um, save the world, 1,600 gold, and you also get daily pinatas every time you log in. So be sure to log in and collect your 1,600 gold, which is quite generous, and your free llamas for the next four days. So uh, that's that's the quick update. Let's go in game and check out this awesome light machine gun. All right, guys, so here it is. I just purchased this from the store. If you go to the store right now, you can purchase it from the events. And here it is. Or wait, here, that's the sniper rifle. This is the copper mercury light machine gun. And then let's go to my armory and show you guys what stats it rolled. So I leveled it up to three star, level 30 out of 30. Quite good. Um, I got... 10% more damage, 21% more crit, 40% more weapon stability, which is actually pretty good for a light machine gun. 14% increased fire rate, and this nice little extra bonus here. Uh, explosion, uh, f dealing 5 damage in a row causes explosion damaging enemies within 0.5 tiles. Which is actually really good because the light machine gun you want to use on big crowds of enemies. It fires so fast and has so much ammo. And, uh you're going to just be doing tons and tons of splash damage. So this is a really good stat to roll. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the rolls. I would have liked a little bit more crit chance, but I can't really complain here. This is pretty darn awesome. And I want to show it to you guys in game. But before we do that, I want to talk about what heroes would be best for this light machine gun. So I just tried the light machine gun in uh, an encampment mode with uh, Master Grenadier Ramirez, which she really doesn't have any stats towards, you know, machine guns and stuff. But she is a four star uh, mythic. So I think what the best heroes are, let's go to my heroes here. Definitely the new Bulletstorm Jonesy. That's definitely what you're going to want because, let's look at his stats here. He has the War Cry, which increases his damage. Um, debilitating Shot, which increases his damage. Startup, firing a weapon with, uh, firing a ranged weapon increases the fire rate by 1.2 per shot for 20 shots. Resets on reload or weapon switch, but this weapon has a ton of ammo, so you're just going to be increasing your fire rate constantly. Um, increases the weapon reload speed by 35%, which is huge because uh, this weapon has um, a, a slow reload. And then Lingering Pain now makes it so your vulnerability stacks up to 5 times, which is huge. That means 25% more damage. Ammo Recovery, uh, damaging enemies with Assault Weapon, which it is uh, classified as Assault has a 16% chance to generate one ammo and this weapon does use the batteries which uses bacon to craft and that that's the most expensive ammo in the game so having that is really good um, then there's the spoils of war which is while war cry is active you have 25% chance on damage to get your ammo back one in four chance as long as your war cry is up so that's really huge as well for saving that bacon and then um, the the start start faster increases the startup rate of fire bonus of 2.4 per shot. So 2.4 times 20, that's at least 50% increased uh, fire rate on a light machine gun, which is huge. And this is definitely the biggest one of them all. Increases ammo capacity of your weapons by 40%. And that weapon I just showed you guys has like, I don't know, two, 300 ammo. So that is going to make it like a huge difference um, so he's definitely your go-to hero that you're gonna want for this gun I highly recommend buying the gun it's very very powerful and if you don't have him if you bought the starter kit uh, one of the you know pre-order bonus things or um, ultimate packs uh, special Fo forces Jonesy is gonna be a good option mine's only three star but I think we're gonna try playing with him uh, simply because he does have the debilitating shots yeah, increased damage with assault weapons, 
Um, reduced recoil, although there isn't too much recoil on this weapon, so that doesn't really matter. He has the war cry, increased duration on war cry, faster reload, um, reduced cooldown on war cry, and he has that ammo capacity um, and increased damage of war cry. So he's he's a good alternate if you guys bought that kind of uh, extra bonus pack from from the uh, store. And I think another option. Arguably, the uh, Urban Assault, everyone loves this hero. She's really good. She'd probably do the most damage with this build and this gun because um, she does have that increased uh, fire rate and she has the best debilitating shots because at the end here, um, where is it? Make it rain faster. So, uh, or, or she, yeah, she fires faster and her debilitating shots have 9% instead of uh, 5, I think it is. So they stack up to. 50% so she's doing a lot more damage. She's firing faster than the other heroes She still has that reload speed and all that so she can put out the damage faster But that just means you're you're not gonna conserve ammo if you if you have a lot of bacon Then go by all means go with the urban assault. You'll probably do more damage, but she's less sustainable in in the long run uh, So those would be my three hero choices guys um, we're gonna try out uh, Special Forces Jonesy for this run. So let's put together our squad here. We're going to have to uh, swap him out. Let's just put someone else in here for now. And grab our Jonesy. Only three star, which kind of bums me out. We're going to put Sergeant Jonesy in, in the second slot because his increased assault weapon critical by 72%. So when we do land those crits, that 25% chance to crit with that gun, it'll be a lot bigger. And in terms of a secondary slot, I'm not really sure what I have that's going to be good here. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of options for me. I think what I'll probably do is just go with my Ramirez for the stat pad. It's going to give me a lot more health. And uh, killing an enemy with an ability or weapon recovers three base health per second okay so yeah I mean it gives me a little bit more survivability having her in there I'll ultimately I'm gonna really want to get that um, who is it this guy bullet storm Jonesy leveled up I'm going to be doing hero missions and leveling him up and maybe I'll do another video once I have him up and we will report back then so let's just jump into a mission. I'm thinking a encampment. I just did this encampment, so the bonuses aren't there, which is the hardest level available to me, level 70. The next step down is going to be 64. So still very difficult. Uh, I want to go up against the hardest enemies possible for this. So let's jump on into this. Um, Hero EXP is exactly what I'm looking for too. Lightning in a bottle, storm tickets, all really good rewards. If you guys haven't been back in a while to play this game, it's a lot better. You're getting gold for every mission. You're getting tickets. This event so far has been a ton of fun. Really good rewards. I love the four heroes. Um, the Outlander right now is a the first ever sniper character in, in uh, Fortnite. So she has increased uh, abilities when using sniper rifles. And... Uh, you know, increased magazine, fire rate, all this good stuff. So, we're just going to go at it solo. Why not really put the pressure on? <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, boy. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about all these new heroes. The only problem is to make content and make videos on all this stuff. I really have to play it a lot and get all that EXP to level these heroes up. So, I'm going to try and play as much as I can. And, um... You try and make a video on the uh, Assault Jonesy as well as the Sniper Jess. So we're going to hunt out for these encampments. Look for the Purple Beam. Now I do have the one of the best assault rifles in the game right now, which is the uh, Ramirez rifle. It only comes with that um, collector's edition of the game, which is like, I don't know, 150 bucks or something. Oh my goodness. Uh... So we can do actually a, a, a direct comparison between, you know, the Ramirez rifle and this new light machine gun, neon weapon. Okay, I see the storm is over there. Let's just build our oh, build our way up. Hopefully they don't break this bridge on me. Go go go! 
All right. Yeah, so we will do a comparison between Ramirez and the light machine gun. And if, if it even compares at all, then it's a really, really good weapon and worth your while because uh, my collector's edition one rolled really good stats. And I've been using it like the entire game with my soldier. This That's it right here. So let's pull out the light machine gun. It, it, it literally, it's not even a contest here. It does so much more damage. And <laughs> certainly the best assault rifle in the game right now. Um, and look how much ammo I have. This is ridiculous. And look at, there's like literally no spread on the, on the recoil. It's pretty darn good. Now, my survivability is going to be really low on this guy because he's only three, three stars here, but... Hopefully we're able to pull this off. I mean, soloing a 64 is not that easy at all. <laughs> I don't even know if it's possible. We'll see. I'm, I'm sure I've done it with, like, perfect loadouts. But this is certainly not a perfect loadout. But look at the spray and pray on this weapon. I literally... Oh, yeah, and I have Warcry. I should probably use that. Oh, God. No, this is not good. Okay, I'm going to have to build some walls if I want to do this. Okay. I've got that reload. It's a super slow reload, and that was with 40% increase. Look how fast I tear through the mist mobs. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. All right, we got some people joining in. Oh, I really need this quest item back here. Uh, need one more. Sweet. Okay, where's the, uh, storm? I think I see it back there, very faintly. Loving the new hoverboard, too. Oh my god, is it ever good for, uh, getting around. And even for these videos, I mean, I used to spend, like, what, three minutes just walking across the map. It doesn't make for the best, uh, content, but now we can get around real quick. I do wish it had, like, a, a double jump. <laughs> I guess that's asking for too much, though, right? Okay. So I, I, I do want to show you guys the Ramirez rifle again, so we're going to build some walls here. So this is the Ramirez. Well, it killed them so quickly. For the little guys, it's really accurate. It reloads quickly. You can kind of really get those headshots off. Whoa, this is not good. Not good. And we'll switch to this one. I mean, it, yeah, again, it just it's not even a comparison. It just tears through them. And because I, I rolled that stat that does uh, AoE splash damage every five hits, when they're grouped up like that, it's just it's 30% more damage overall every five hits. Like, they're just... I'm not even shooting them and they're dying. I'm just dying from the other guys. Okay. It reset. Oh, hopefully these other guys come and help. Okay. Well, I think it's just going to break. <laughs> well, that wasn't smart. Let's try this again. Throw a grenade. Let's go commando here. I, I honestly feel like uh, the light machine gun does more damage than the uh, special ability. Yeah, man. It's crazy. <laughs> the spray and pray is just nuts. Ugh, I just wish I had more health. It's the only problem right now. The um, mythic grenade here that I was playing with is really good up and close in the combat because I can get a lot of those grenades out as well as uh, I can do the, um, the shockwave. So I wasn't having any troubles playing as the uh, Grenadier and I'm deaf and I was on a 70 mission I, I was pretty much soloing it using this gun so I, I do feel like that character does perform using this gun a little bit better than him just because the survivability aspect is there but I think he's doing a little bit more damage than she did but he's a little bit of a glass cannon that's the problem I don't like glass cannons but if I level him up a bit should be fine, but I would much rather focus on getting the uh, the other Jonesy leveled up, who specializes in light machine guns. Oh god, no, I don't want to die to a little one. 
<laughs> okay, nobody's helping me. I only have one person on the team now. Well, hopefully he tags along. It's going to get real tough, but I think we could do it if I build walls and play it safe. All right, where are we going? Aha. All right, I'll just have to play a little bit further back. The problem is with these encampments. Nope. You uh you can't really stay that far back cuz it just resets them. I got some cars to hide behind. I wonder how far I can get back here. One of our drones has taken damage. We can't let the hostiles All right. destroy the drone. Head to the crash site. There it is. Not possible. Round three. Fight. Let's try this with a rally. <laughs> oh my goodness. They just vaporize. This is ridiculous. Just melts them. I love it. Um, I'll pull up the um, Ramirez again so you guys can see. I mean, the Ramirez rifle is really good, but again, this is. I mean, you definitely have to pay, pull out your wallet to get this. It comes from the collector's bundle. Um, it always rolls really good. It's a it's a solid weapon. It's been my staple weapon. So, it, it, it while it is good, I still don't think it compares because you have to reload it more often. It doesn't do AOE damage. When there's big groups of enemies, it's not as good. But if I just focus fire on his dome, it's probably a little bit better than the light machine gun. Um, just because I can really get those headshots in. It's very quick and clean. All right, let's head over to the next one. So if I were to kind of like pick a single target, missed mob in the head, uh, yeah, I, I do think Ramirez rifle is going to be better. But I think, you know, that's what the weapon specializes in. So in terms of killing big groups of enemies, this is the way to go. So, I mean, as, as a soldier, you, you definitely want to have multiple weapons for different situations. Um, oh yeah, I'm not supposed to reload this gun unless it's completely empty. Let it auto-reload. I just have the uh, habit of reloading. But honestly, look look at the accuracy of it. I don't think it'll be that bad. I want to try getting a miss mob and just focusing it on its head. See how quickly I do. Oh my god, I keep reloading when I shouldn't. I get like a bonus if I reload at zero. Something like that? I can't remember. Probably should have brought a slow field or something. That could help. Alright, next one's right over here. But uh, another downfall to this gun again is it's it uses bacon, so... Um, right now I have a lot, but I've never really used an energy weapon before, so I have like my life savings of bacon to use on this thing, and I'm sure if uh, I start using it all the time, I'm going to run low on bacon. So the Ramirez rifle you still, or any other assault rifle you have, you still want to try and uh, make use of it as much as possible, um, and, and try to use weapon variation. Oh god. Just melts them. <laughs> this is so crazy. Definitely recommend buying this weapon. Now let's try some long distance pop shots. Yeah, it has a little bit of a spread. It's a, it's not nearly as tight as the uh, Ramirez from a long range. It has a little bit of a fall off. It's understandable. Let that spray and pray. It's a savior. Oh, that guy's rocking it up too. <laughs> there we go. And he's got the um, proper Jonesy. He's got the full combo. I'm a little jelly right now. I should have enough hero EXP after a few more missions to get a three-star assault Jonesy. 
So, I'll definitely make another video once I have the perfect pair so we can see how much damage it's doing. Oh, here we are. Oh my god. Take her. Wow. Ah, uh. oh, that's gonna get me. Walls, 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 walls. <laughs> I, I war crime right when I reload. Whoops. Yeah, the range is pretty bad. The fall off is bad. Well, it's not terrible. I gotta stop reloading early. Hmm, yeah. Definitely gonna have a specialty weapon just to get those long range shots. Let's see here. Well, honestly, it's comparable. Huh. If you keep pushing on, we might clear the zone. Overall, I think it's just better <laughs> in every situation. I don't want to use anything but this gun from now on. Having a uh, hero dedicated just to this weapon is really awesome as well. I'm, I'm used to usually playing the, um, the Rangers. Uh, sharpshooter or whatever, Outlander, and uh, he does a, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of crit damage with pistols. Um, that's why you see me. I have this weapon here. <laughs> Look how fast! I mean, it, even on a soldier that has no bonuses, it just rips out. Because this is my only four-star weapon. Um, it's pretty freaking mean, I must say. Um, so I'm curious to know whether or not I can out DPS my Ranger if I get the proper Jonesy for this gun. Because my Ranger usually can keep up with soldiers, if not beat them. So uh, there's no reason for me to play anything but uh, an Outlander because he has the mobility, the gathering, and the damage. So he's the complete package. Uh, so I quite have been, you know, addicted to playing that character. But I really, really want to have, you know, a character that I can look forward to where it's just four encampments, you know, dishing out damage. And so far for me that has been um, the Grenadier. But that's because I, I, I've kind of gravitated towards that character. One, because it's mythic, which means I get a really good stat bonus. And uh, two, I can use my pistols from my Outlander because she doesn't actually get any bonuses towards assault rifles. It's all about the grenades. So I can run around using a, um, a pistol and grenades and use all my pistol slot bonus characters. But I'm really looking forward to having a assault class and this is feeling very strong using just Jonesy, uh, like a default Jonesy. So I think this is going to wreck. <laughs> I have a feeling it will out DPS my Outlander for sure. Whoa, 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 where am I getting hit from? Let's uh, empty out this weapon. Alright, coming up on the hardest encampment. Still got four minutes left. I think we're good. Uh, check out your map. Way back there. Yeah, the weapon itself feels really good. Um, one thing, you know, I found with a lot of the assault rifles that I've tried in the game so far is the spread. When you start firing, the the, the recoil and the spread kind of goes drastic, and you have to tap fire. With this one, you it, you could as you can see here, it's it caps out there on the spread, and that's a like if you look at my pistol, um, look how the spread is bigger on the pistol. So it is literally more accurate than my pistol. It's pretty darn gnarly. Oh no, I fell down. 
Uh, wasted that war cry. Thought they were going to spawn quicker. Whoa. It's hard to tell how much damage I'm doing now with that other Jonesy in here. But uh, he joined a little bit late. I'm still curious to know how much damage he's done. If he beats me in damage or he's comparably close, uh, that just shows how much stronger the combo is having the Cyber Jonesy with the Cyber Gun. I'm really excited to see the score screen here. All right. Uh, I have enough time to find my last quest item. Let's do a, a little bit of scouting here. <clears throat> so my overall thoughts on that gun is it is 100% worth buying off the uh, store. And heck, I think it only cost me 2,000 coins. And as a reward, uh, as a thank you from the developers, they, they gave you 1,600 when you log in. So, they practically buy you the weapon. Um, if you like playing soldiers. I mean, I had a ninja in my last game when I was trying it out. Asked me to make her one. And <laughs> like, she was doing more damage with the uh, gun than her sword. So, it just says a lot right there. It's a very powerful weapon. And uh, well needed, too. Because I have a, a large assortment of legendary assault rifles that I've tinkered with. And um, I've, I haven't found one that I prefer using more than my uh, Ramirez rifle. But that's more of like a tap fire, single target. And, you know, I definitely wanted something for burst damage. Um, I, had, I had one that was similar. It was a light machine gun. And I, I did use it for uh, big crowds and stuff. But it, it had really bad spread and recoil. Whereas this new one doesn't. So the other one was an, was kind of like a, a close to mid-range weapon, whereas this guy actually works uh, at long range, as you guys saw fairly well. So I love it. I'm excited to get that hero XP, level up Jonesy, and uh, see how much more powerful I am. We'll have to do like a, a stat comparison when I get that hero leveled up. I guess I have nothing else to do. I'll just break cars and talk. Um, we'll do a stat comparison. We'll see how much damage I did in the end of this mission. And then uh, when I actually get the other hero leveled up, you can see... Well, I'll do a, a 64 encampment again. And see how much damage I put out. And we'll bring up a clip from the old video. And do a direct comparison. Uh, I feel like I was involved in every single fight. So as long as I try to... Play the same way as I did before. Um, Here it, comes. 30 seconds left. It, sh it should be it should be a reasonable comparison. Still love the Ramirez rifle though. I mean, as a soldier, you're always gonna want different toys to play with, um, and this one is great for just those pop shots. Even though I can't hit a fly. Alrighty. Let's see the score screen. Oh boy! Victory! Yeah, that, that guy came close to me and he joined halfway through. Just goes to show how good this hero matches up with it. Um, he, he, we're about the same level. So... Definitely leaps and bounds just playing as this guy. That's exciting. That's really exciting. And this is the new Sniper Jess. She did pretty good for a, an Outlander. I mean, that that is competitive. And my, my problem with Sniper Rifles is they don't have that fire rate and they don't have that burst group damage. So considering she's just popping headshots off, that's, that's nuts damage. Very good. And all the rewards, loving the new uh, reward system in the game. You guys will see it here. You get the coins, you get the tickets, tons of drops of rain or lightning in a bottle, whatever the mission is giving you. It is quite great. 
100 coins. 1,000 tickets? Oh, that was from the quest. Oh, we can open up a llama before we end off this video. 100 more coins. So there you go, guys. Log in, claim your rewards, your 1,600 free gold. Do two missions, and you should have enough to buy that rifle. Light machine gun. Um, let's open up a llama. Bonk. Let's go legendary. I hate blue choices. I don't care. Oh, oh, we did not have her yet. Nice, 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 nice. This new hero for the event is all about scythes. As you can see, a quick look at the stats here. Uh, she snares enemies and does damage to sn bonus damage to snared enemies and bonus damage with scythes, which are snaring them and doing increased damage to snared targets. <laughs> and uh, she also has the shadow stance and dim mock. Um, really awesome hero. I mean, I think it might arguably this hero might be the highest damage dealing um, ninja, and her smoke bomb also gives healing. So between your med pack and your smoke bomb, you're always going to have that survivability and you're putting out tons of damage, slowing them so you can kite them as well. Uh, I'm going to have to do a video on that. I have too many heroes to level up and way too much EXP to have. Oh, we can open another one. The only hero I don't have from this event so far is the constructor. So I've gotten Jonesy, the ninja, and, and the outlander. So pretty stoked about that, although I did get the purple version of the constructor. Oh, a shotgun. Damn, two legendaries in a row. Look at that. Whoa! 49% crit chance plus base. Magazine size. Damage. Plus percent weapon damage causes affliction. Oh my god, that was, those are like perfect rolls. <laughs> oh, this, I got too much hamster wheel stuff to do, guys, because... There's some pretty good uh, stuff to do with the shotguns if we go to my heroes. They introduced this new hero a while ago, Raider Headhunter. Uh, it's the first shotgun base character. And with that shotgun I just got, oh my goodness, that character would wreck. Oh my goodness. That's another thing I want to try doing. I don't know how I'm going to get all this EXP to try all these amazing heroes. I mean, as you guys can see, I got a lot of heroes, but only the first row or so. I guess first two rows are leveled up. Yeah. And it's just... It's a little downside to the game, I would say, is they don't give you enough hero EXP. I guess I could disenchant the purples, but I, that doesn't do much. Boom. Boom, 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 you guys. Uh, so, yeah, there it is. That's the uh, new light machine gun from the event loot store. Highly recommend coming and picking this thing up for 2000 Quite an amazing rifle. Uh, I do have the sniper rifle, so we will have to uh, make a video on that as well in the future here. Exciting stuff. I got a lot of work cut out for me. I got to go farm that hero EXP, and uh, I will make another video, guys, when I have my Bulletstorm Jonesy leveled up. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.